Oh, hi. Hi, friends. Is it time for circle? It is time for circle. I was just reading this book. Um, it has rhymes and chants about science in it. Do you like science? You don't know what science is? Um, science is, you know, how everything came to be and, um, and medicine and discovery and wondering. Science is a lot of things. Yeah, this particular book is talking about stones or rocks. <laughs> Do you like stones or rocks? Pebbles at the beach? You do? Me too. I really like them. Well, we'll read this poem in a minute, but first let's say hello. Hold on, I'll move you a little closer. There we go. I have my magic mirror. Ooh, I see Miss Bianca's at circle today. Good morning, Bianca. Hi. And I see Antonio. And I see Flora, and I see Livy, and Easton, and I see Elena and Sienna, and I see Leela, and I see Rand and Reagan, and I see Nash and Mason. Hi guys, hello. Welcome to Circle Time. Yeah, who else is here? I'm looking in my magic mirror to see who I can see. Ooh, whoa, what do you know? Caius is looking back at me. Hi, Kai. And there's Arena. And who else do I see over there? Grady and Ainsley, good morning. And I see Tilly and Colin. And I see Joan and Miles. And Maggie, hi, Maggie. And there's Dawn and Emma and Charlie and Lorenzo, and I see Daphne and Jordy, my friend Jordy. Hi, Jordy. And Noah is here at Circle today. Ooh, who's that over there? I see Cece, and I see Ben and Caleb. Good morning, I'm so glad you're here. And Wilder and Reiner, and Mira. Hello, Mira. And there's Sybil, did I already say Sybil? and Sadie, her sister. I'm so glad you came to Circle. Well, I'm gonna put the magic mirror over the camera so you can see me and I can see you. You ready? Here we go. There we are, all together again. Let me turn it a little bit. Sorry, friends. Oh, ooh. <laughs> I have a friend that's gonna come at Circle Time in just a few minutes. Well, he told me he was when I saw him at breakfast. Anyway, so the book, the poem, let me read it to you. It goes like this. Oh, is it Sylvia Elise? Hello, Liana, Andrea, I'm so glad you're at Circle. Thanks for joining us. Okay, let me read the poem. <clears throat> oh, you can't see my face. I'll turn it this way. It might be easier if I fold the book, because it actually has a picture. It says, stones. Little pebbles, sparkling crystals, golden nuggets, and walls of granite. Delicate fossils, tiny gra grains of sand. Precious diamonds and minerals, stones are all over our land. Is that true? If we go outside, when there's no snow, <laughs> and we look on the earth, will we find stones? Yes, we will, won't we? I have some um, precious stones that my friend Ian gave to me a long time ago, and I've had them for a long time. Can I show you close? Pumpkin's getting adventurous over there. This one's really pretty. It's called Rose Quartz Stone. I know, rose, like the flower. And this one is amethyst. It's purple. Right there. 
and I don't know what this one's called, but I really like it because it has all sorts of lines. It reminds me of when um, you're up in a plane and you look down and you can see all the rivers and the roads. I like to do that. You do too? Oh, that makes me happy. You make me happy. Would you like to sing a song about being happy? Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good job, boys and girls. Let's sing another part of it. If you're frightened and you know it, cover your face. <gasps> oh no! If you're frightened and you know it, cover your face. <gasps> oh no! If you're frightened and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're frightened and you know it, cover your face. <gasps> I'm not really frightened, I'm just pretending. How about if you're sad? Sometimes we feel sad, right? If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo. If you're silly and you know it, go woohoo! <laughs> I love seeing you do that. If you're silly and you know it, say woohoo! If you're silly and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're silly and you know it, say woohoo! <laughs> That's a fun song to sing. Oh, you're right! We have mail! What's in the mail today? What's in the mail, friends? Good morning, Una. I'm glad you're at Circle today. Let's find out what's in the mail, okay? You ready? It's a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. I, it's from my friend Rand and Reagan. Hi, friends. Let's see what they have to say. It's fun to get letters. Oh, my goodness. Will you look at that? It looks like they did some printing with potatoes. Is that how you made that, Rand? With a potato and paint? did a great job and there this one has yellow and green and pink oh my goodness it looks like a lot of work went into that card thank you it says happy Easter Jennifer Ian and Oliver that's my family Wimbley and Gopal pumpkin and Penny thank you for your gifts love Rand and Reagan oh you're welcome. I love sending things in the mail. And when you're family, sometimes it's nice to get Easter gifts, isn't it? Rand is my family friend. So I sent him some Easter eggs. It was fun. Anyway, I am wondering how Grumpy Bear is feeling. <laughs> Grumpy Bear, sometimes, well, he gets grumpy. But also, sometimes he gets lonely. Does that happen to you? Yeah. Well, see, my son Oliver is going to school while my husband Ian is teaching school. They're both doing that remotely, like far away from the school in our house. But they have to be on a computer and I just don't have anybody to be with. So they're busy and I hang out with Grumpy Bear and Pumpkin and I feel a little lonely sometimes. <sighs> but 
that's okay. Sometimes we feel lonely, don't we? I could call to them. Want to try? Oliver! Do you think he heard me? Maybe. Ian! I'm sure he heard me. But just because I'm calling their name doesn't mean they can come right when I call. I have to be patient. I don't really like that word. Patient is hard. But, you know, when I'm being patient, I can try to do other things. I can read books, right? I've got my book about poems and stones. Oh, right, the, the, the stones. That's what I did one time when I was really bored. I went outside and I looked for stones. And then I brought them inside and I painted on them. Don't you think that's incredible? How you can paint on stones? And I, I, I haven't done it in a while, but one time I did it and it was lots of fun. Maybe, maybe later today, Oliver will be done with his computer time and I can paint stones with him. I think that would be fun. Oh, but remember I told you my friend Wimbley was coming? I think he's here. Here he comes. Come on over, Wimbley. Come on over. Oh, Wimbley. Mm -hmm. Wimbley, oh. are you okay? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Why do you... Wimbley has something on his face. <sighs> Wimbley, why do you have that mask on your face? inside. I don't know. Um, you know what? You live with me. We live together. This is your house. Yeah, this, this is your house and Grumpy Bear's house and Pumpkin's house and mm -hmm. Ian's house and Oliver's house. So you don't need to wear a mask when you're in the house with us. But. Can I? help you take it off? No. Oh, no. Why not? I'm, I'm scared. Oh, Wimbly scared. We know what that feels like, don't we? We were singing about it in a song. Really? When you're scared and you know it, go <laughs> <laughs> and cover your face. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm covering my face. You are, but you don't need to inside. Oh, okay. Can you help me take it off? I can. Here. Let's see. Cover your eyes. There we go. Take that right off. Does that feel better? Yeah. It does? Yeah. Why were you scared? Because there's a lot of germs going on. I feel like everyone's getting sick. Um, yeah, well, not everyone is getting sick. But there are germs that people are afraid of, so that's why they're wearing their mask. Yeah. But not in their home. When you're in your home, you don't have to wear your mask because... But when, when I go outside, I should wear my mask. Yes, when you go outside, you should wear your mask. But, but not because you're sick. It's confusing, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think I'm sick. You're not sick, Wimbley. You're, you're healthy. Okay. You're okay, buddy. Um, isn't that a little confusing? They tell us to wear a mask when we go outside and, and, and we're not sick. But we feel like we have to wear it because the grown-up said so. And, and we do. Because it does help not spread the germs. Yeah. Right? And it also helps you not catch the germs. If you were out and about and you didn't have your mask on, mm -hmm. and somebody else was sick, they might make you sick. Yeah, I don't want to be sick. Right, but I'm not sick. And you're not sick. And, yeah. and Grumpy Bear is not sick. Grumpy and, Bear. And 
um, Oliver's not sick and Ian's not sick. And we're very blessed that way that we're yeah. not sick. Um, you have a little hair here. Hold on. But um, some people could be sick. And so that's why they ask us to wear that. But you don't have to be afraid inside. Okay. And if we go outside in our yard and, it, and it's just us around, yeah. we don't have to wear a mask. It's just if you're out with other people. Right. If in you're in public. If you're with other people. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. Let me move that a little bit so you feel a little more comfortable. <laughs> are you okay? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, I'm there right, you are. I'm right here. <laughs> I couldn't see you for oh, a minute. Sorry. Oh, Wibbly. I'm so glad you're here. I brought my drum to circle. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you want to play freeze yeah. dance? Freeze dance? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Do you? You do? Yeah. Oh, hi, Charlie. Welcome to Circle. And you also have a friend, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. That's my brother's name. Hey, Daniel. It's nice to meet you. Wembley says hi, too. We were just going to play a game. Do you want to play, too? You do. All right. Let me get it. I need the drum. Here is my drum. It's a drum. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to play the drum, and while I play the drum, you dance. Oh, I love dancing. You do? Yeah. But when I stop playing the drum, mm -hmm. you have to... Freeze. Freeze. That's right, Wimbley. Let's see. I'm going to play the drum, and you're going to run. Dance. Dance. That's right. Okay, here we go. You ready? You can do it too. Let's play along. Are you dancing? Uh-huh. Freeze. Oh, freeze. Good job, Wimpley. <laughs> he froze. Did you? Did you guys freeze? Oh, I see a lot of friends frozen out there. Good listen. Let's play another song. But okay. a little bit faster. You oh, ready? All right. Okay. <laughs> did you freeze? I did. <laughs> you did. You froze really good. Yeah. You were like a statue. I noticed. Great job. Thanks. Okay. Great, now great drumming. Thanks. I'm going to play it a little bit softer okay. and a little bit quieter, and you can dance a little slower at your house. You ready? Don't forget to freeze. Nice slow dance. Right. Don't forget to freeze when I stop playing. Here we go. That one was tough. That was tough, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know, but I think you are a really good dancer. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to do a little faster, okay? Okay. Here we go. Get ready to dance. And good freezing. You did a great job at home. I love to dance with you. It's been so nice playing with you at Circle today. Yeah, it's very it's been very fun. I was telling my friends, Wibbly, that um yeah. later I might go outside in our yard and find some rocks. Oh really? Yeah, some rocks. Do you like Can I can I help? You can always help. Oh, thanks. Um Wibbly, make me blush. Would you like a hug? Yes, please. Oh, thank you, Wimbley. Mm -hmm. It's been so nice for you to visit at Circle Time. Yeah, it's I always fun to be here. Yeah, it's fun to be here with you and you and you. Let's sing the goodbye song. Okay. Will you help me? Yep. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, CC. Goodbye, Alexa. 
Goodbye, Ben and Caleb. I'm glad that you are here. Goodbye, Daniel. Goodbye, Noah. Goodbye, Charlie and Lorenzo. I'm glad that you were here. Goodbye, Ainsley and Grady. Goodbye, Joan and Miles. Goodbye, Easton and his sisters. I'm glad that you were here. Goodbye, Julian and Eva. Goodbye, Nash and Mason. Goodbye, Daphne and Jordy. I'm glad that you were here. I'm so glad you were here. Elise and Sylvia and Liana, they came to circle today. And I'm glad Antonio was here and Caius was here and Flora. And I'm glad that Adam came. <laughs> And Izzy and Rosie. Izzy and Rosie. And Wilder and Reiner. And Rand and Reagan were here too. I know. You know them. Yeah. And Rand even sent us a card in the mail. Oh, I'll have to check it out. I'll show it to you after we say goodbye. And and Indiana and Verbena. And Una. Do you remember Una? Yeah. Yeah. And Ariana and Lily were here. All sorts of wonderful kids. And you know what? I huh. think they like seeing you, Lindley. Oh. Yeah, you're pretty special. Yeah. And I'm so glad you were here, Bianca. I hope you have a great day, boys and girls. I love you. Remember, be safe. Be gentle. And be, be kind. kind. Bye. Bye.